we're going to go over the most important things that you need to know about Deal Machine Man. So first things first, we are in the Drive tab. A couple of things to first notice when you're in the Drive tab on web is that you have this start driving. You have a log over here of driving times, miles driven, and then leads added. Now, we're not gonna go over virtually driving for dollars just yet. That's in the next video, and you can check that out from the card up above. But we are gonna notice here, we can search by address, city, or zip code right here at that search bar. If we go to this little threefold map, you'll be able to see MLS data on the map, show routes on the map, which this is for route tracking feature that is on our pro and elite plans. And then you can change the property label and the map mode. Map mode is really more important when you're adding leads while driving for dollars. So I go back to that little threefold and I can see down here it says pin mode. So the thing with pin mode is that you actually tap on the property, it shows you the leads information and then you have to select add lead. Whereas if you were to look at the other map modes, we have crosshairs mode, which is going to be a little plus sign that you can actually move around to hover over different properties to get the information or tap to add mode. I will say tap to add mode is my personal favorite when I'm driving for dollars because what that means is that you literally tap on the property and it's added into your list. All right, and then we move down here and this is our highlights. We're gonna filter through different motivating factors that we are looking for in properties. So for example, I can just click on expired listings, apply that highlight, and it's going to highlight those properties that are expired listings. Okay, so one thing I can do with this is I can look at these properties and be like, you know what, I wanna hit up this block over here because I notice that there are a couple expired listings and you never know what else you're going to find over there because you are looking for distressed properties. Moving on to over here, this little arrow that you see here is going to be more important to you when you're on your mobile device because when you do that, it's going to lock into your location and you'll be ready to start driving. So then when I press start driving, I can do free drive or planned routes. So planned routes is on our pro and elite plan, but free drive, I would just press and it would start automatically logging the time and the properties that I'm adding in there as well as the mileage. Planned routes, I can click on and I can actually search an area. And this is almost exactly like List Builder. And if you don't know about List Builder, you can check out the video above. And I can draw over an area and look for those expired listings. So what it's gonna do is it's actually going to tell me where I need to start driving with an actual step-by-step -step GPS instructions on how to get to each of these properties that are expired listings. So I'm gonna just end that really quick. Then we move over here, we have the zoom in and zoom out features on both and you can also refresh, especially when you're zooming in and out too much, you wanna make sure that you refresh and they can see the highlights. Now, as you see, I talked about the drive log on the website. You can actually see your drive log on mobile as well if you just click the two little arrows that are splitting off right next to the drive and you can search through and sort. If you're wanting to learn more about how to virtually drive for dollars, highly recommend checking out this video right here. And as always, happy deal finding.